and welcome to another GCSE revision video. In this video we're going to answer the question what is 2 plus 3 times 5? Is it 17 or is it 25? Just to show I'm not making this up I'm going to type this into the calculator 2 plus 3 times 5 is 25. I'm going to type the same thing 2 plus 3 times 5 is 17. Which is right? Which should we believe? This all boils down to what we call order of operations. Addition and subtraction has the lowest priority, whereas multiplication and division have a higher priority over addition and subtraction. That means we evaluate a multiplication and division before we give our attention to addition and subtraction. But on top of the pyramid, on top of all layers of pyramid, are the brackets, which we always evaluate first. We always look at brackets before we pay any attention to multiplication and division. And we always pay attention to multiplication and division before we pay any attention to addition and subtraction, who has to sit on the bottom of the pyramid. Poor addition and subtraction. So isn't that a bit unfair on the poor addition and subtraction? I mean, why is it that addition and subtraction is, is uh, looked at last of all? Well, we could see addition and subtraction as probably the most basic building blocks of other operations. Just as we can think in terms of houses and walls and bricks, so walls are made of bricks, houses are made of walls, so we can think in terms of multiplication as repeated addition. In other words, multiplication is made up of lots and lots of additions. In the same way, division is made up of lots and lots of subtractions. So we can look at 3 times 5 as 5 plus 5 plus 5, or 3 lots of 5. Or we could think of it as 5 lots of 3, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. This is actually called the commutative property of multiplication. If you want a fancy word you can use to show off in an exam or show off to your teacher with. It basically means it doesn't matter which way round we do it. 5 times 3 is the same as 3 times 5. This is why the priorities are the way they are. So 2 plus 3 times 5 is the same as 2 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 17. It could also be considered as 2 plus 5 lots of 3, or 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is 17. What it is not, however, is 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3, which would be 25. If we want to multiply both the 2 and the 3 by 5, we need to show that using brackets. So 2 plus 3 times 5 is 17, and if you say it's 25 in an exam, you would quite rightly be marked wrong. 2 plus 3 times 5 is 17, that's just the way maths work. If we wanted 2 plus 3 times 5 to be 25, we have to put brackets around the 2 plus 3. So it's open brackets, 2 plus 3, close brackets, times 5, which is 25. OK, I hope that was helpful, and I'd like to wish you all the best with your exams, and good luck with your revision, and I'll see you in another video.